Hello everyone, Teacher Josie here. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to discuss Grade 9, Quarter 1, Science 9, Module 4 that is all about biodiversity and evolution. This video focuses on achieving this learning competency, relates species extinction to the failure of populations of organisms to adapt to abrupt changes in the environment. After going through this video, you are expected to Measure species distribution using a mathematical way of expressing the amount of biodiversity and species distribution in a community. Determine the pattern of population distribution. Explain the probable causes of species extinction. Explain the local and global environmental issues that contributed to species extinction. And make a multimedia presentation of a timeline of the extinction of representation microorganisms plants and animals. Are you familiar with the following pictures? Do you know its name? Can you see them every day? What do you think are the reasons of the decrease of population of these organisms? This will be our topic for today which is biodiversity and evolution. Here are some key questions for you to ponder after finishing this video. 1. What is biodiversity? 2. What are the factors that affect the balance in biodiversity? 3. What causes species extinction? 4. How do the changes in the environment affect the continued survival of the species? And the last one, number 5. What are the local and global issues that contribute to species extinction? Analyze the given picture. Give 5 reasons why we experience imbalance in biodiversity. Some reasons which we experience imbalance in biodiversity are deforestation, mining, pollution, overpopulation, and degradation of land. What is biodiversity? Biodiversity is the term used to describe the number and variety of life on Earth. Biodiversity has three types, genetic biodiversity, Species Biodiversity, and Ecosystem Biodiversity. Now let us discuss each type of biodiversity. Genetic diversity pertains to the variation of genes within species, or it is the variety of genetic information contained in all plants, animals, and microorganisms. Species diversity pertains to the variety and abundance of species within a region. Ecosystem diversity is the variation among groups of organisms in different physical settings. Now, let's have an activity. Let us make a concept map about the three types of biodiversity. Choose at the sides the correct definition of each type of biodiversity and write it in a space provided. Then choose the letter below that corresponds a correct example of each biodiversity. Okay, let's check if your answer is correct. Ecosystem is the variety of habitats, ecosystem, and communities. Species biodiversity is a variety of species in a given area. And genetic biodiversity is a variety of genetic makeup within a species. And some examples are Do you have the same answers? Very good class. Now, let's proceed. An ecosystem is a biological community of interacting organisms and their physical environment. The population pertains to the number of organisms of the same species living in the same regions. While communities are composed of different organisms living in the same region. This is what we call the levels of organizations, ecosystem, community, population, and individual. What will happen if one population in an area increase? Will it affect the distribution of space and food? Fortunately, changes in population may give a big impact in the balance of biodiversity index. But what is balance of biodiversity index? Biodiversity Index is a scale of the diversity of plant and animal species in a given area. It is widely used 
tool for estimating the complexity, stability, and thus general health of an ecosystem. It is expressed with the equation of biodiversity index is equals to the total number of different species divided by the total number of living items. Let's have an example. List down all the living organisms you will see based on their category. Write the total number of species and the total item. We can see the three types here of trees. We have two mango tree, one guava tree, and one langta tree. Therefore, the total species are three, and the total item is four. Plants, we have two gumamela, five santan, ten bell flower. Therefore, the total species is three. The total item is 17. Animals in the picture are two dogs, one cat, six pigeons, two chickens. Therefore, the total species are four and the total item is 11. There is only one insects or bugs that we can see in the picture. Only one butterfly. Therefore, the total species is 1 and the total item is 1. The total number of different species is 11. The total number of living items is 33. To compute or to calculate the biodiversity index using the given formula below, the total number of different species is 11 and the total number of living items is 33. Therefore, the biodiversity index is equal to 0 0.33. Now, based in the data, which species has the greatest total in number? That is animals. Very good. Which species has the lowest total in number? That is insect. Therefore, what is the biodiversity index? The answer is 11 divided by 33, that is equal 0 0.33. Very good class. Let us now proceed for your activity. Study the five patterns of population distribution in Figure 1. Count the total number for each population and record the data in the table below. After that, calculate the density of each population using the equation below. Write your answer in a separate sheet of paper. Okay, let us proceed. The growth of survival of organisms is limited by the resources and conditions of the environment. Populations of an organism can change and vary over time. This is due to the different limiting factors occurring in the situation. Limiting factors are usually described as lack of particular resources like the availability of food, water, and space. Some of the reasons are production, diseases, and migration. Light, temperature, and soil nutrients are also limiting factors because they help to identify what kind of organisms live in a certain area. Increasing the number of population size that an area can support is what you call carrying capacity. What is a carrying capacity? The carrying capacity of a biological species in a particular habitat refers to the maximum number of individuals of that species that the environment can carry and sustain considering its geography or physical features. For example, when a population of ducks is stable, when they grow, thrive, and reproduce without firstly competing for food, water, space, and mate, the carrying capacity is rich. When the number of species decreases in size and only a few remain, that species is considered as endangered and possibly becomes extinct in the future. Some examples of endangered animals in the Philippines are Tarshir in Bohol, Philippine eagles, freshwater crocodile, tamarau of Mindoro, and Philippine bareback fruit bat. 
If animals of a particular species are vulnerable at risk in terms of the number of population of its kind, it is said to be threatened. Extinction happens if the last member of that species is gone, like dinosaurs. But what are the different causes of species extinction? But before we proceed, let us have first an activity. Take a look at the given picture of species below. Identify whether this species is extinct, endangered, or threatened. Good job, class. So let's proceed to the question. What are the causes of extinction? Some causes of extinction are Meteoric impact cosmic radiation. It is an extinction happens when a massive asteroid or meteor hits the surface of the Earth. Loss of habitat or land development. Conversion of land into residential area or building. Diseases or epidemic. Infectious diseases or virulent infectious diseases cause the change in biological population. Climate change, it is the sudden changes in the Earth's temperature. Acid precipitation is a result of air pollution. Invasive species, it can change the abundance of diversity or the food web in an ecosystem by destroying and replacing its natural value and number. Some man-made causes of extinction are Deforestation, which is an illegal logging, caing in farming. Destruction of coastal resources, this is caused by using dynamite in fishing, moroami, and the conversion of beach into residences and over harvesting of fishes. What is evolution? Evolution describes the gradual change of organisms from one state to another. It deals with the first appearance of organisms and studies how they survive and change through the course of time. Geologists constructed a timetable of the Earth's history, which is called geologic time scale. What is geologic time scale? It is a timetable of the Earth's history. In this scale, the Earth's history is divided into major divisions called eras. A. Paleozoic Era or Prehistoric Life The existence of marine invertebrates, the development of marine life. Mesozoic Era or Middle Life The existence of largest creatures. Cenozoic Era or Recent Life The existence of warm-blooded animals and humans. Here is an example of geological time scale. You have the Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic, and some example of the different life forms. Now, let's proceed to activity. Identify the era of the given animals below. Write whether it's a Paleozoic, Mesozoic, or Cenozoic era. What do you think are the correct answers? Number one, you have Mesozoic, Paleozoic, three, Paleozoic, four, Mesozoic, five, Cenozoic. Do you have the same answers? Good job, class. In summary, by diversity is the term used to describe the number and variety of life found on Earth. The types of biodiversity are the genetic diversity, species diversity, and ecosystem diversity. By diversity index is a scale of the diversity of plant and animal species in a given area. When the number of species decreases in size and only a few remains, that species is considered as endangered. If an animal of a particular species are vulnerable at risk in terms of the number of population of its kind, it is said to be threatened. Extinction happens if the last member of that species is gone, like dinosaurs. The natural causes of species extinction are climate change, land development, acid precipitation, disease or epidemic, 
meteoric or cosmic radiation, and the spread of invasive species. The man-made causes of species extinction are deforestation, pollution, destruction of coastal resources. Evolution describes the gradual change of organisms from one state to another. It deals with the first appearance of organisms and studies how they survive and change through the course of time. Let us check your understanding, decode the words or phrase that describes the local and global environmental issues that contribute to species extinction. Use the number given and then encode the letter in the space provided per item number. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to click, like, share, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Goodbye!